in our previous class we looked at calculation of mean using direct method in today's class we will be learning about calculation of mode and as well as median using formula for the given grouped data so first mode mode is the observation in our given data which repeats maximum number of times so here it says that mode gives the observation or value which is repeating maximum number of number of times in the present data for example in the data of marks scored by five students in a test are as follows say the marks scored are 10 8 7 6 6 and 9 so the value which is repeating maximum number of times is 6 so 6 is the mode of this given data so now for any grouped data the mode is given by the formula mode is equal to l plus into bracket f1 minus f0 whole divided by 2 f1 minus f0 minus f2 bracket close into h where where l is the lower limit of the modal class and we'll see what is a modal class when we solve our examples so l is the lower limit of the modal class the next is h that is the size of the class interval so if our class is 10 to 20 then it is si its size is 20 minus 10 that is 10 and f1 is the frequency of the modal class f0 is the frequency of the class preceding the modal class or f0 is the frequency of the class which comes before the modal class and we have f2 which is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class succeeding means the class which comes after the modal class so now looking at solved examples we will now see what is a modal class and how we can calculate the mean so the question here is to calculate the mode of this given grouped data here family size has been divided into 1 to 3 3 to 5 5 to 7 7 to 9 and 9 to 11 and number of families which have these many number these many members in them are as follows 7 8 2 2 1 so now to calculate mode first we need something called as modal class and for our calculation purposes the modal class is the class with highest frequency so out here 7 8 2 2 1 out of these frequencies the highest frequency is 8 and its corresponding class is 3 to 5 so 3 to 5 is our modal class and f1 that is the frequency of the modal class is 8 so now to solve for mode so the modal class is 3 to 5 with highest frequency that is 8 so now our given values will be l that is the lower limit of the modal class lower limit is 3 so 3 f1 frequency of the modal class 8 f0 frequency of the class preceding the modal class that is before 3 to 5 we have 1 to 3 and its frequency is 7 so f0 is equal to 7 f2 that is the frequency of the class succeeding the modal class and that is equal to 2 and lastly we have the height height is given by difference between the class limits that will be 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 so now putting all these values in our formula of the mode we will get mode is equal to 3 plus f1 minus f0 that is 8 minus 7 divided by 2 into 8 minus 7 minus 2 into 2 so we get 8 minus 7 is 1 and 2 is a 16 minus 9 is 7 so 3 plus 1 by 7 into 2 which is equal to 3.286 so mode of the given observation is 3.286 that is the solution so now let us without any further ado move to exercise 2 of the chapter in which we will be calculating more for various examples and children if I do not solve any of the example any of the questions of the exercise then take them as your homework so here in the second question the first question I am leaving it to you as your homework where you have to calculate both mean and mode of the given uh, distribution table so here we have the following data gives the information on the observed lifetimes of 225 electric components 
determine the modal life of the components. So, this is the lifetime which is given in hours and this is the frequency for some of the electric components. Our job is to determine the mode. So, the first and foremost we have to determine the modal class. So, since these are the class intervals and the highest frequency is 61. So, 60 to 80 is our modal class. So, the solution starts with the modal class is 60 to 80 with highest frequency 61. So, now the lower limit L is equal to 60 F1 the frequency is 61 F0 that is for the preceding class it is 52 succeeding class F2 it is 38 and height is 60 minus 40 which is equal to 20. So, L mode is equal to we have our formula L plus F1 minus F0 whole divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole multiplied by H. So, substituting the values we get 60 plus 61 minus 52 divided by 2 into 61 minus 52 minus 30 into 20. So, we get 60 plus 9 by 32 into 20. So, on solving this we get our mode to be equal to 65.62 hours. As you can see the mode always lies in the modal class. See here the modal class is 60 to 80 and the maximum frequency is 61. So, the observations repeat maximum number of times in this given class and that maximum time repeating observation is 65.62. So, that is the mode of the given data. In the fourth question, the given distribution shows the number of runs scored by some top batsmen of the world in one day international cricket match. Find the mode of the data. So, here we have runs scored that is 3000 to 4000, 4000 to 5000 and so on up to 10,000 to 11,000 and number of batsmen 489.76311. So, these are the frequencies. Our job is to find the mode. So, first and foremost finding the modal class which is which is corresponding to the maximum frequency and here the maximum frequency is 18. So, our modal class is 4000 to 5000 and now the values from the modal class we have the lower limit is 4000, F1 is 18, F0 is 4 and F, F2 is 9, H is 5000 minus 4000 which is equal to 1000. Substituting all the values in our mode formula of the mode and simplifying we get the mode to be equal to 4608.69 runs. So, mode of the data is 4608.69 that is the solution to the question. Now, we have the last question of the exercise that is the sixth question. A student noted the number of cars passing through a spot on a road for 100 periods each of 3 minutes and summarized it in a table given below. Find the mode of the data. So, for every 3 minutes the a student recorded how many cars passed and he did it 100 times. So, he recorded it for 300 minutes and now we have to find the mode of this data uh, gathered by the student. So, first thing to find the mode, the modal class and here as you can see 20 is the maximum frequency. So, 40 to 50 is the modal class. So, now the lower limit L is equal to 40. F1 that is the frequency of the modal class is equal to 20, F0 that is the preceding class it is 12 and F2 that is the succeeding class and it is equal to 11 and height, height of the class intervals is 40 minus 30 or 30 minus 20 or 20 minus 10 you can take anything and that is equal to 10. So, mode is equal to L plus into brackets F1 minus F0 divided by 2 F1 minus F0 minus F2 whole multiplied by H that is the class class height. So, 40 plus substituting the values we get 40 plus 8 by 17 into 10 that is 8 into 10 80 whole divided by 17 we will get 4.7 adding it to 40 we will get 44.7. So, 44.7 cars passed every 3 minutes on that spot on the road. So, that is the mode of the 
that is the highest number of cars that passed in 3 minutes. So, it will become the mode of our given data and that is the solution to the question. So, now the remaining sums that is the question number 4, the question number 3 and the question number 1 are to be solved by you. The questions are not just to find the mode, but also to find the mean of the data which we have done in our previous exercise is the last third and the last measure of central tendency that is the median and median is the midpoint of the data which is given to us. If we have a line segment say of 5 centimeters, then its midpoint will be at 2.5. For, uh, at 2.5 centimeters from either end. See, if we have a data say like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the middle value will be 1, 2 will go on the other side, 4, 5 will go on the either uh, in the another side. So, what is remaining is the number 3. So, 3 will become the median of the given data. So, that is why <coughs> median is the middle most value of any given data. It is also called as the midpoint of the data and for any grouped data in our ungrouped data we calculated median using even uh, uh, considering how many terms were present in it if it was even number of terms then we used a different formula and if it was a n number of uh, odd number of terms say seven number of terms or nine number of terms in our data then uh, the formula was different. So, we used two different formulae to calculate median in case of ungrouped data. But when it comes to grouped data, the median is given by the following formula that is median is equal to L plus here once again L is the lower limit of the median class. Previously in mode we had something called as modal class, but here we have something known as median class and we will see how to calculate, how to determine the median class in our upcoming problems. So, first L median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus CF, CF is one word, it means cumulative frequency. So, n by 2 minus C f whole divided by f, where f is also it has it also has its, its usual meaning that is frequency multiplied by h that is the class height. So, here first let us define each of these terms l is the lower limit of the median class as I said before n is the total frequency if you can remember mean then we took total frequency as summation f. So, here we are uh, denoting the same term, same summation f as n, n is the total frequency or total number of observations, c f is the cumulative frequency of class below median class. So, in our mode calculation of mode we had something known as f naught which was the frequency of the preceding class before the uh, preceding class then uh, modal class if there was a modal class then it is the, the frequency of the preceding class was considered into calculation of the mode, but here in median we consider something known as cumulative frequency, we will also we will get to that in the, in the short moment. And then lastly we have frequency that is f is equal to frequency of the median class. So, these are the terms involved in the formula and lastly we know h is the class size. So, now let us go to exercise 3 directly where we have our first question that is the following frequency distribution gives the monthly consumption of electricity on 68 of 68 consumers of a locality. Find the median mean and mode of the data and compare them. So, here the question is to find all three measures of central tendencies that is median, mode and mean, but for the sake of our purpose here we will only find median. The rest two, the rest two observations you have to calculate on your own that is your homework. So, here we have our monthly consumption of electricity in units that is 65 to 85, 85 to 105, 105 to 125 and so on up to 185 to 205 and number of consumers is 4, 5, 13 and so on up to once again 4. 
So, now here we will be calculating the median of the data, the mean and the mode I will leave them for you, that is your work to do. You can pause the video and calculate the mean and mode of the data and there is a relationship, a beautiful relationship between all these three median, mode and mean and that relationship is 3 times the median is equal to mode plus 2 mean. So, you can verify the relationship using the given data, the given for formula. After finding the values of mean, mode and median, you can verify if they satisfy the relationship 3 median is equal to mode plus 2 mean. So, moving ahead with the solution of our problem, we have a beautiful table here where in the first column we have written class interval CI and the second column we have written the frequencies that is 65 to 85 corresponding frequency 4, 85 to 185 corresponding frequency 5, 105 to 125 corresponding frequency 13 and so on we have written to up to the last class interval that is 185 to 205 the corresponding frequency is 4. So, now here we have calculated something known as CF that is cumulative frequency. So, first frequency keep it as it is 4, 4 plus 5 we get 9, 9 plus 13 add them in a zigzag way 9 plus 13 we get 22 22 plus 20 we get 42 42 plus 14 we get 56 56 plus 8 which is equal to 64 and 64 plus 4 we get 68 where in the question they had told us that the following frequency distribution gives the monthly consumption of electricity of 68 consumers. So, when you added these frequencies, the last cumulative frequency was equal to 68. So, it is correct, our addition is correct. So, now we have all the cumulative frequencies and we have all the frequencies. So, now to find the mean, here see the solution n that is the total number of frequencies is 68. So, divide it by 2 that is n by 2 which is equal to 34. So, now look at the cumulative frequencies which value is greater than but nearest to 34. So, we have greater than 42, 56, 64, 68 all these values are greater than 34 but the nearest one is 42. So, the corresponding class interval that is class interval 125 to 145 will become our median class. So, that is what we have written here median class is equal to 125 to 145. So, the lower limit of that class is 125 cumulative frequency of the preceding class CF we consider it for the preceding class. So, since CF of the median class is 42 then of the previous class is 22 and frequency of the median class is not cumulative frequency, the frequency F, F is equal to 20 and H is 85, I am just dividing the upper limit minus upper limit and lower limit. So, we get 85 minus 65 which is equal to 20. So, now we know that median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C F whole divided by F multiplied by H. So, we will substitute the values L is 125 plus 34 minus 22 by 20 into 20. So, on, sim on simplifying we get 125 plus 12, 20, 20 cancel each other we, ha we, ha we are left with 125 plus 12 which is equal to 137. Thus, the median of the data is 137 units. In the second question, if the median of the distribution given below, so here we have our distribution. The, if the median of this distribution is 28.5, then find the values of x and y. So, this is the distribution and they have also given the table beautifully here. See, this is how they have given the table. So, if our class intervals are 0 to 10, corresponding frequency 5, 10 to 20, corresponding frequency x, 20 to 30, 20 and so on, they, we have also 40 to 50, y. Our job is to calculate the missing frequencies x and y. In the calculation of mean, if you can remember, there was a question where we had to find only one missing frequency. But in case of median, when it comes to median, uh, they have given us to find or they have told us to find two missing frequencies. And they also told us that 
sum of all these frequencies is equal to 60. So, we know the value of n, n is equal to sum of the frequencies which is equal to 60. So, what we have done in this table is that we have added another column that is for our CF cumulative frequency. So, now writing 5 zigzag addition 5 plus x it is written as 5 plus x 5 plus x plus 20 which is 25 plus x 25 plus 15 plus x we will get 40 plus x. Now, 40 plus x plus y 40 plus x plus y. So, similarly, we have at the, in the end 40 plus y 45 and the remaining terms are plus x plus y. So, this cumulative frequency the last last term of cumulative, cumulative frequency is always equal to n just like how we saw in the previous example. So, in the last cumulative frequency was 68 and which was equal to the 68 which they had told us in the question. So, here we have the last cumulative frequency equal to 45 plus x plus y and so we know that it is always equal to 60 that is why we have written 60 is equal to 45 plus x plus y. So, we have one of the equations here. So, solution to find x and y what we will do now? We know n is equal to 60 given in the table. So, n by 2 is equal to 30 and we know median is 28.5. So, look here if we look at the class intervals the median 28.5 lies in the class 20 to 30. So, 20 to 30 is our median class and 20 will be the frequency of the median class and 25 plus x will be the cumulative frequency of the median class. So, here thus median class is 20 to 30, the lower limit is equal to 20, cumulative frequency of the preceding class, preceding class is 5 plus x and frequency is 20, height is 10 minus 0 which is equal to 10 also. So, we are just as we discussed before 60 is equal to 45 plus x plus y. So, on transposing we get transposing we get 60 minus 45 which is equal to 15. So, we get x plus y is equal to 15. Name this as equation 1. Now, we know that our median is equal to all this formula and substituting the values we know median is 28.5 which is equal to lower limit 20 plus and the n by 2 is 30 minus cf. Cf of the previous class is 5 plus x. So, put it in the bracket 5 plus x whole divided by 20 into height is 10. So, transpose 20 to LHS we get 28.5 minus 20 is equal to into the bracket what do we get here 30 minus into plus minus 5 minus into plus minus x. So, 30 minus 5 is 25 minus x divided by 2. So, 8.5 uh, 28.5 minus 20 is 8.5 on transposing 2 we get 8.5 into 2 is equal to 25 minus x. So, 8.5 into 2 is 17 which is equal to 25 minus x and on transposing and uh, rearranging we get x is equal to 8. So, using 1 we know that x plus y is 15 and we got x is equal to 8. So, put 8 in terms of x in place of x we will get y is equal to 15 minus 8 which is equal to 7. So, thus x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 7 is the required solution. This is the answer for the given question. In the third question, a life insurance agent found the following data for distribution of ages of 100 policy holders. Calculate the median age if policies are given only to persons having age 18 year onward but less than 60 years. So, here the policies are distributed as the ages are here we do not have our class intervals as you can see the data is given as below 20 number of policy holders 2 below 25 number of policy holders 6 below 30 24 below 35 45 and so on up to below 60 100 so here what they have given is the ages not the class intervals and what we have here are the cumulative frequencies not the frequencies but the cumulative frequencies using this data we are supposed to build our frequency distribution table and that is done like this 
so first class interval let it uh, be let it be below 20 next following all will be equal to here below 25 so the next class will be 20 to 25 below 30 so it will be 25 to 30 below 35 30 to 35 and so on we have arranged all the class intervals up to 55 to 60 so now to calculate the frequencies here we have our cumulative frequencies which add up to 100 what we do now is we will simply go on subtracting them so here we have 2 so keep the first class uh, first frequency as 2 now 6 minus 2 4 24 minus 6 18 45 minus 24 21 78 minus 45 33 89 minus 78 11 92 minus 89 3 98 minus 92 we have 6 and 100 minus 98 we have 2 we will just subtract the corresponding cumulative frequencies leaving only the first one first one is just equal to the first cumulative frequency so if you add back 2 2 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 18 24 you will get the same thing so since now we got our cumulative frequency uh, frequency distribution table from the given cumulative frequencies and the other data we will now find the median age so the solution the policy number total policy holders are 100 so n is equal to 100 see you can see here n is 100 so n by 2 is equal to 50 so since n by 2 is 50 we have to consider the number which is greater than 50 or the cumulative frequency which is greater than 50 but nearest to 50 out of the given data so since here there are so many numbers greater than 50 but the nearest one is 78 so our median class will be 35 to 40 that is what it is written here so l is equal to 35 cumulative frequency of the previous class is 45 frequency of the median class is 33 h is equal to 25 minus 20 which is equal to 5 so we know the formula and substitute the values after substitution and simplification we get median to be equal to 35 plus 0 0.76 which is equal to 35.76 thus thus the median of the data is 35.76 years or you can even also you even say that the median age is 35.76 years so moving on to the next question the length of 40 leaves of a plant are measured correct to the nearest millimeter and the data obtained is represented in the following table find the median length of the leaves so here we have a data where length of the leaves which has been calculated in millimeters is tabulated against number of leaves so yeah as you can see the, the data is starts from 118 to 126 and here it is not 126 it is 127 to 135 and here it is 136 to 144 it is 145 it starts from 145 to 153 so as you can see the distribution of the class intervals is not continuous this is called as a discontinuous class interval distribution so to first to find median of the data our job is to first convert this discontinuous distribution into a continuous distribution of the kind which we are used to deal with as you can remember all in all our previous problems we had continuous distribution of the class intervals 20 to 25 25 to 30 30 to 35 and so on so but here since it is discontinuous our first job is to make the class intervals continuous so we have our table here where we have made the class intervals continuous the only job is it is very simple to make the make them continuous as you can see here 126 is the upper limit and 127 is the lower limit the difference between these class intervals is 1 the discontinuity is 1 so what we will do we will take half of 1 and half of 1 is nothing but 0.5 we will subtract 0.5 from the lower limits subtract 0.5 from the lower limits add 0.5 to the upper limits so here subtracting 0.5 from 118 we get 
adding 0 0.5 126.5 subtracting 0 0.5 we get 126.5 adding 135.5 subtracting 135.5 144.5 on adding so same thing subtracting to the lower limits and adding to the upper limits we have got our continuous class distribution now see 117.5 to 126.5 126.5 to 135.5 so similarly 135.5 to 144.5 and it goes on up to 171.5 to 180.5 we, we, we just took the difference between the class intervals that is 126 127 so 1 and half of that is 0.5 so subtract 0.5 from lower limits add 0.5 to the upper limits so that's all we did and we got our rearranged continuous class intervals so now so as you can see we only made changes to the class intervals but the frequencies remain the same 3 5 9 12 5 4 2 and that's all we have not made any changes to the frequencies so now to calculate cumulative frequency 3 3 as it is 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 9 17 17 plus 12 29 29 plus 5 34 34 plus 4 38 38 plus 2 40 so these are our cumulative frequencies and they have told us the length of 40 leaves that means n is equal to 40 and at the end we got our sum of total sum of the frequencies to be equal to 40 so now to calculate the median size or the median length of the leaves n is equal to 40 so n by 2 is equal to 20 so 20 that means the highest and the closest number is 29 so that means 144.5 to 153.5 is the median class so l is equal to 144.5 cumulative frequency is 17 frequency is 12 and height is 9 so we know that medium median is cumulative frequency is for previous class so cumulative frequency of median class is 29 the previous class is 17 so on substituting the values and simplifying we get that the median is is equal to 146.75 so the median length of the leaves is 146.75 millimeter and that's the solution to this problem in the next question we have the following table gives the distribution of the lifetime of 400 neon lamps find the median lifetime of a lamp so here it is a pretty normal distribution that is one 1500 to 2000 2000 to 2500 there are no curve balls here this is a straightforward question so directly we will put our table in the first column we have class intervals they are written in the in the in their order of on the in the order which they have been told to us and the frequencies corresponding frequencies are, are also written our job is to directly find the cumulative frequency 14 14 14 plus 56 70 70 plus 60 130 130 plus 86 2 no, 216 216 plus 74 290 and so on up to we get 352 plus 48 which is equal to 400 so they, we were told 400 neon lamps we got 400 as our final cumulative frequency so the calculations are right so now n is equal to 400 then n by 2 is equal to 200 so nearest and the highest value that is 216 so the median class is 3000 to 3500 now the lower limit is 3000 cumulative frequency of the previous class is 130 and frequency of the median class is 86 height is 2000 minus 1500 which is equal to 500 and we know the formula median is equal to l plus and by 2 minus cumulative frequency by f into height so substituting the values and simplifying we get our median to be equal to 3406.98 so median lifetime of the given neon lamps is 3406.92 hours that is the solution so moving to the last question of the exercise that is the seventh question I am leaving sixth question to you as as your homework or you can pause the video right now and solve it so in the seventh question we have the distributed the distribution below gives the weights of 30 students of a class 
find the median weight of the students so here we have weight which has been given in kgs that is 40 to 45 45 to 50 50 to 55 55 to 60 and so on it is the weights of the students and the number of students which lie under these categories are given as follows and the total number of students is 30 so the last value of our cumulative frequency must be equal to 30 so this is also a very pretty straightforward question our job is to find the median weight of the students so this is a straightforward question so directly we, we have our table here class intervals 40 to 45 and so on up to 70 to 75 frequencies 2 3 8 6 6 3 2 and then to find the cumulative frequency 2 2 as it is first cumulative frequency now zigzag we're adding 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 6 19 19 plus 6 25 25 plus 3 28 28 plus 2 30 so we, we were told there were 30 students so we got our final value to be 30 so now to find the median weight we have n is equal to 30 so n by 2 is equal to 15 so the median class great the number the cumulative frequency which is greater than but nearest to 15 so here we have 19 which is greater than but nearest to 15 so our median class is 55 to 60 so now the lower limit of the class l is 55 cf of the previous class is 13 Fre frequency of the median class is 6 our height of the class is 45 minus 40 which is equal to 5 so median is given by the following formula and substituting the values we get median is equal to 55 plus 1.67 which is equal to 56.67 kgs so median weight of the students for that given class is 56.67 kilograms this is the solution for the last question from exercise 3 of the chapter statistics